it'll God I mean, actually invites us to know the truth about him and this is life eternal that they might know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent God has actually provided ways for us to learn about him and this knowledge is essential to our happiness now and in the future it is just as another prophet wisely said if men do not comprehend the character of God, they do not comprehend themselves. Man's longing to know God is as old as time itself. Somewhere inside all of us is a desire to believe. I was never taught anything specific, but I always felt that God was someone that cared about me on a personal level. I think God isn't a person. I think God is a force. I think he could be concerned if I were to seek him out, but just not doing what I should be doing at, at this point in my life, I don't think he's really too concerned right now. I used to believe in God very strongly, but uh, I don't anymore. If there were a God, how could he let bad things happen to people? There is a reason why we are here, but I, I can't describe or think it. You can feel it. It isn't always easy to believe. For some, fear and disappointment get in the way. and praying I know that God lives and that he cares about me the scriptures contain the writings of prophets and apostles these men spoke with God they heard his voice they saw his face the scriptures help us understand that he really exists he is not merely a force he is a glorious, perfected being. He revealed himself to the prophets in the wilderness of Judea. At Mount Sinai. At Jerusalem. He also spoke with prophets in the ancient Americas. Their teachings recorded in the Book of Mormon provide another witness. All things denote there is a God, the earth, and all things on the face of it.
greatest evidence of God's love is that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be the savior of the world. Father and son are separate individuals. Jesus made this evident when he prayed, Our Father, which art in heaven. And when he testified, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. Heavenly Father wants us to understand the truth. In the past, he spoke to prophets. He does the same today. He is a living, revealing, communicating Father. We are his children, and just as children resemble their earthly parents, so we resemble our Heavenly Father. We were created in his image. If we could see our Father in heaven, we would learn that he is a person with a glorified, perfected body. feels you know with us down here on earth I wonder if there are times when he would just like to take us and, and hold us in his arms I feel very close to God when I call him father God is our father he has a plan and purpose for our lives he has placed us on the earth to gain experience to help us learn the lessons that will one day bring us home. Sometimes I feel that I'm so inadequate. And I feel that I do so many things that are wrong. How could anybody continue to help me? And then I look at my kids, and it, it's, it doesn't matter what they do. I don't care what they do. I still love them, and I would do anything in the world for them. And then I think, if Heavenly Father feels that way about me, wow, I, I am so fortunate. Heavenly Father knows us better than we know ourselves. He hears and answers prayers, not always as we would want Him to, but He sees beyond the here and now to our eternal happiness. When I was diagnosed with, with cancer um, at first, uh, I, well, I was in shock. <laughs> uh, it just seemed unfair. But um, I don't know. I sometimes will feel this great feeling of uh, comfort um, and, and love. Uh, sometimes you just feel, I just feel wrapped up in love. It's amazing. I don't know how good a father my earthly father was, but I know, I know God is my father. And um, I know his son, Jesus Christ, is my savior. And because I know that, whatever happens is gonna be for the best.
And he'd do what any good parent would do for his children. Because our Heavenly Father really wants us to come home. As children of God, our Father knows us individually. He has a body of flesh and bones as tangible as man's. We were created in his image. A modern prophet has said, the day will come when we will see God face to face. Nothing is going to startle us more than to realize how well we know our Father and how familiar His face is to us. sense my friends and when we come to our senses we too will want to arise and go to our father in heaven once we turn homeward as with the father of the prodigal son our heavenly father has his own ways to greet us and to encourage us even while we are yet a great way off his arms of mercy are always fully extended to us but we must first turn to him. It is our move. 